Welcome to today's Three Minute Halacha. The challenges that we face today of assimilation and intermarriage are not new to the Jewish people. In fact, during the times of Chazal, they were very concerned to limit the kinds of social interactions which would take place between Jew and non Jew to avoid assimilation and intermarriage. As a result, Chazal prohibited wine that was prepared by a non-Jew, calling it Stam Yenam. And they prohibited a Jewish person eating food, even if it was kosher, if it was completely prepared by a non-Jew. And they also prohibited bread that was prepared, baked by a non-Jew. This kind of bread is called Pat Akum. Pat is bread, Akum refers to the non-Jew. However, bread is considered a dietary staple. And in fact, our Chazal referred to bread as chaye nefesh. And as a result of it, when it came to the question of bread, there was one area of leniency. And that is many communities allowed bread that was baked by a non-Jewish baker to be eaten by a Jew. This type of bread is referred to as pat palter or pas palter. And to this day, Ashkenazim permit, permit the pas palter as the Ramah taught in Shulchan Aruch. Nevertheless, in many Mahadrin Hashkochos, they only allow pat Yisrael, Jewish prepared bread, where a Jew was involved in a significant way in the baking of the bread. Or when it comes to pas palter, they only allow it when there are no other choices available. However, interestingly, in the Shulchan Aruch, in Simon Tav Kuf Gimel, it writes that during the Aseret Yemei Shuvam, these days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, everyone should be machmer, everyone should be stringent, and only have Pat Yisrael. There are a number of reasons that are offered among Chazal and modern day commentators for this. The first is because during these days of the high holidays, we have an obligation for an added level of Tehorah, of purity. This is brought by the tour, quoting Yerushalmi in Shabbos. A second piece is the Levush, who writes that having this distinction of eating only Pat Yisrael during the Aseret Yimei Tshuva is a reminder of the unique nature, the status of these days. A third explanation is offered by the Chaye Adam, who says that we beseech God not to judge us stringently, just as we will adopt a practice which is not strictly required of us. During the Aseret Yimei Tshuva, whenever possible, we make sure to only eat at Yisrael, and at the same time, when there needs to be an exception, it is something that is made only in the extreme circumstance.